everyone. My name is Stacy, and I'm one of the senior trainers here at the Indianapolis Zoo. And today we're going to be talking about why we paint with our animals. Now, in training, we always find it that the animals get mentally stimulated. So it's more of a fun thing for the animals to do. Now, the reason why we do these paintings a lot of the times is we do a lot of um, donations and we try to raise money for our animals as well as uh, bowling for rhinos, putting for penguins, and wine auction here at the Indianapolis Zoo. So this is just one of the ways that we make our animals a part of these different fundraisers. Now with the dolphins, we tend to paint a little bit differently than the other animals. They have a ring that we place on the top of their rostrum and on top of that is a paintbrush. Now the reason that we use this ring is so that we don't put anything in their mouth with the possibility of them possibly swallowing it. We also hold the canvas out in front of them and then they move their heads and create their own designs. Now with the walrus, it's a little bit different. Each walrus has their own way of painting like most artists do, so it makes it a little bit more fun for them as well. With Aurora and Nereus, they tend to brush their whiskers along the canvas, whereas Grutus likes to lay on his back. We put a palette in front of him, he brushes his whiskers on the palette, and then we put the canvas in front of him and he creates his own special design. Now last but not least, we have our sea lions. Though they're not fully trained on it yet, we're in the process of training our youngest sea lion, Diego. Now with Diego, you'll see that he has a bar on his, in his mouth that contains a paintbrush. Now again, we use this paintbrush on the bar so that he doesn't swallow it. Now it's only moving in small stages right now, so eventually once he feels comfortable with the bite bar, we'll add the canvas as well. So that's just a little bit on how we make things fun in training for our animals here at the Indianapolis Zoo.